Now, in the last two tutorials, they worked great because I set them up to work great, but sometimes an adjustment layer can go overboard. It can work too well. So I'm gonna to go to File and Open, and right here, file number three, water and suit changes. Okay, what I want to do is change the color of the water in this photo. The problem that I can already see is that the water is almost the same exact color as the bathing suit. So we're going to have an issue here. Okay, command J, duplicate your layer. Then I go to the adjustments panel, second row, all the way to the left, hue and saturation. I click on the target adjustment tool. And to change the actual hue, I hold my command key and I'll click and drag to, let's say the right, we'll make that more of a purplish color. But notice I've changed the color of the water but I also accidentally changed the color of her bathing suit. I wasn't trying to do that. If the two colors match, the two colors are gonna change. So what you gotta be aware of is that Photoshop knows this is going to happen. It's a pretty smart program. So every adjustment layer automatically comes with a layer mask. You don't even have to make that. It will automatically come with it. So if I'm on the mask, D for default colors, X to switch to black, and I'm gonna zoom in on the bathing suit right here. By painting with black, I'm gonna hold Control and Option, make this a little bigger, or actually a little smaller. By painting with black, I can scrape off the adjustment from affecting this part. I don't have to worry about painting right along the edge because her skin tone never had any of that blue tone to it. So I don't have to worry about that. And again, that just allows me to edit a photo a little faster. So I can just go right up here along the edge of the bathing suit, hold my space bar and scroll over, scrape off the adjustment from affecting this part of the suit. And I can instantly update the colors in this photo. If I accidentally do that, not a problem. I hit the letter X for white. And I put the photo back on right there. Just cover that up again. Right there. Cover my mistakes. That's why I love layer masks. Zoom back out. And now we have kept the original foreground elements with all their original colors. We only edited the color of the background, the water. So just be aware that sometimes adjustment layers are too powerful. Photoshop recognizes that and it automatically supplies a layer mask to fix those errors. You can just save this one as, uh, I don't know, last name, first name, suit, and then we can move on to another tutorial.